right, so now we get into the more complicated definition of addiction. It just came out from the American Society of Addiction Medicine. It's been in the press. But I want to walk through it a little bit because it's, it's much more telling than that four item in the, in the DSM. So it starts out addiction is a primary, not secondary to anxiety, depression, uh, brain damage. It's a primary disease, chronic, and it's of the brain reward, motivation, memory, and related circuitry. That's the circuitry we've been looking at in the midbrain. It's a dysfunction. Dysfunction in these circuits leads to characteristic biological, so body changes, psychological, thoughts and behaviors, social, how we interact with the world, and spiritual manifestations. This is reflected in an individual pathology, pathologically pursuing reward and or relief by substance use and other behaviors. And I want to take a moment and say, some of what we're talking about is the drive for feeling good. Some of it is taking away feeling bad. And the escape from the negatives, which is mediated by dopamine, is equally potent for some people. So you'll see some people with addiction who, who drink because they lost their job. We see just as many people who drink or do cocaine because they want to, they're at a wedding and they want to celebrate. They want to become disinhibited. Addiction is characterized by the inability to consistently abstain, impairment of behavioral control, craving, diminished recognition of significant problems with one's behaviors, which is denial, and interpersonal relationships, and then a dysfunctional emotional response. So that really means we're dealing with people who can't respond appropriately to the world. Have you ever seen that with people who have addiction? Your clients? They're not clicking on all cylinders. And again, we're looking at a disease of the brain. Like other chronic disease, addiction often involves cycles of relapse and remission. So that's that key factor that people get better and then they get worse. Without treatment or engagement in recovery activities, addiction is progressive and can result in disability and premature death. So this is a fatal disease. Car crashes, overdose, accidents, suicide, liver failure, cardiac irregularities. And this pretty much was, I was involved in writing the definition on the committee, and this really says treatment works. And, and we really ought to know. 